glorify you. And then he continue. Of whom you say, he is our God. So who is the father of Jesus who they say he is our God? It's God. But you have not known him. I know him. You see, nobody know him. I mean, none of those Jews even spoke to God. When Moses says he spoke to him, but none of those. But Jesus, he said it clearly, I know him. If I were to say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him, and I keep his words. Your father Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day, and he saw it, and he was glad. Now Jesus said clearly that he was exist in the time of Abraham. And Abraham was rejoicing him, worshiping him as God. And not only he was rejoicing for seeing him, he saw it that day and he was so glad. Do you remember in the Old Testament where God, he came to Abraham? Do you remember the story? God, he came to Abraham. So Jesus saying to them, Abraham, he saw my day. Abraham, he, saw, he, he, know, he know me. Abraham was in my presence. And then not only that, so the Jews said to him, you are not yet 50 years old and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham I am. So when the Muslim, they say, who created Mary? Jesus, he created his mother, his God. Did God created his mother? That is a joke because Jesus, he created everything, including Abraham which means the grand-grand-grandfather of Mary. And you know, if you think that God will be limited because he's born of a woman, that means God cannot be God. Because if you are trying to prove that how he can be God, but yet he is born in that day, well, you have to explain to me that the person who was born in that day, he can still alive until today. Then you will say to me, it's a miracle. And here you see the hypocrisy. Well, it's a miracle, my friend, that Jesus, who is God, is born of a woman, for he is God. For God is a miracle. So here the Muslims, you see the hypocrisy of this religion. When they want, they want to believe that Jesus was a, doing miracle. When they want, they want Jesus to have no miracle. So is it a miracle that God is born of a woman? Yes, it is. But can God do that? Well, if he cannot, he cannot be God. And here you see how silly this religion is. Same time, as long you are asking such a question, I answer you. Now it's time to talk about your God. Who created Allah? You see, you are the one who inspired me now to talk about the creation of Allah. Now the ones who will do editing for this video, you can cut it two part. One, you name it. Was Jesus born of his mother? And by the way, I don't want to forget to mention that the Quran speak clearly saying that Jesus was the word of God was sent down to Mary. And that is stolen from book of John chapter 1, verse number 1 and verse number 14. If you go in the Quran, you will say that Jesus was the word of God. And he was sent down to Mary. Let us read and, and see how the Muslims, before we go to the creation of Allah. <coughs> who, is, who is the Messiah? The Messiah is the Word of God, and He is the Spirit of God. Is what he is the spirit of God who said that this is not my talk now I'm talking about Islam remember nothing here we are saying now is biblical we are using the words of the fake prophet Muhammad 
This is the Quran, chapter 4, verse 171. Read carefully the same stupid man who is trying to say that there's no Trinity. In the same verse, he created his own Trinity. How? Read carefully. He is saying to the Christians, people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say of Allah but, oh, the, but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was, and in between two bracket, no more. This is not exist in the Quran, this edition. A messenger of Allah and his word. Was Muhammad the word of Allah? No. The most time they say to you, well, this is what he meant here. He is, he said, be and he was. <laughs> but this is not what happened. Isn't it the Quran says Allah he sent his spirit and breathed into Mary? He did not say be and he was. The same for Adam, the Quran says that the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. He said to them, be and he was. But the fact Allah did not create Adam by be and he was. He made the he made first the dust and then he mixed the dust with water, then he made them clay, and then he fashioned the clay as a man, and then he breathed into the man, and then we have Adam. He did not say be he was. So the Quran is a stupid book. You cannot connect the dots together except with foolishness, which means you will get a very disturbing image of this story. Nothing match. And the Quran says, if this is a book not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. So here you see that Jesus is a messenger. Okay, that's wonderful. So he is a messenger. Actually, Jesus in the Bible says many times, my father sent me. So that's wonderful. So the son was sent by the father. And then, is the word. John chapter 1, in the beginning it was the word. The beginning of what? The beginning of everything. And this is why we say that Jesus is the one who created the whole world. Everything was created by him and for him. He's the word, the logos. And this word sent down to Mary. So Jesus was where? He was above. You see in Arabic, it says Al-Qaha. al is not only just uh, like, it, ha it had to come from higher place. You know, it had to come from a higher place. So it's not only he sent it, he sent that word down. So Jesus is coming from above. He is not from this earth. And that explains what John 8, when Jesus says, I am from, not from this world. I am from above. You are from below. So the Quran confirmed what the Bible says, that Jesus was sent by the Father. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten Son. And Jesus is the Word of God, and the Word became a flesh. And that Word has the Spirit with it. Watch the Spirit. Let us read carefully. And the Spirit proceeding from Him. Him who? According to the Quran, Allah. So the Spirit of Jesus is the Spirit of God. So the foolish Muhammad, he decided to fight the Trinity. But he created his own version of Trinity. Because look, is it possible to be one and three in the same time? The foolish Muhammad, he said yes. Jesus is a man, he's a messenger. This is number one. Jesus is the word. This is number two. And Jesus is the spirit. That is number three. But Jesus is one Jesus. The three is one. And remember, this is not our Trinity. But the idiot who is making this verse, he is trying to find the Trinity, but he come with a new Trinity. Confirming that yes, it's possible. Not only possible, it is one and three in the same time. Can the Muslim now, they say, we don't believe in this? Can they say this is wrong? Can, this, can they say the Quran did not say that Jesus is a messenger? Can they say he is not the word? Can they say that he is not the spirit? Actually, Muhammad himself, he said that Jesus is the word of Allah and his spirit. 
Can you believe it? How in the world a man who is fighting the Trinity he say such a thing? I remember in Kalimatullah uh, Allah. Uh, And the Spirit of Allah, according to the Muslims, according to Muhammad, is a title was given only to Jesus. Moses is not the word of Allah. Muhammad is not word of Allah. Abraham, they, whatever, none of them. It is a name. Giving only to Jesus. Actually, we can find that in the Hadith. Let me find it for you. And by the way, those are exist in the Shia and the Sunni. Together. Let us see if we can find this hadith in English here. <coughs> Well, I have a hadith in, in, in front of me in Arabic, <coughs> but I want to find the hadith which is in English so we can show you. It's okay, even if it took us a little bit of time, we will find it. <clears throat> As you know, I don't prepare for my videos, you know. And thank God I don't. Here we go. Let us see where we can find it. Look what the Muslim they did. <laughs> you see here between two bracket, they both say saying be and and it was, but this is not what the hadith is saying. Nowhere it says this thing. This is why you find it between the bracket. So they will go to Jesus as he is the soul of Allah, not a soul created by Allah. 
You see the first translation, they say, soul created by Allah. Now, to get the Muslim busted, we copy the text here as it is. You will see nowhere it says he is a soul created by Allah. And Allah said to him, be and he was. And he was the word of Allah. Allah said to him, nowhere it says that. It says, وَلَكِنْ عَلَيْكُمْ بِعِيسَى فَإِنَّهُ رُوحُ اللَّهِ وَكَلِمَتَهُ I will open Google Translation in front of your eyes. Actually, you know what? You can do this. I don't know if the admins are posting the link for you. You can yourself maybe post it for everybody. You can do this just to show you how you cannot trust them. This is why I say if you don't speak Arabic, if you don't speak Arabic, you will never learn the truth about the cult of Muhammad because Muslims are not decent when they speak about the religion. Did you ask yourself why they added those things? Look what we will do. I will not know, I will not go to Google. We have the Arabic in the right side and the translation made by the Muslim in the left side. So what we will do, we will click and translate by Google. And we will see if it says here as they said. Does it say? Go to Jesus as he is solely created by Allah and his word. Does it say that? How will we find out? Very simple. Click. Translate to English. Remember the right side will be English translation by Google. The left side is the one made by the Muslims. So go to go to Isa okay go to Isa who is Isa hmm? uh, the, the the Google translation giving me a very weird translation what is that okay this is not English the stupid Google is choosing I don't know what language choose another language yeah translate into English yeah but we want translate the detect detect error uh, uh, this is not English choose another language Arabic all right now we translate let us see what's wrong with this Google hold on guys Google is confused. Detect our, our Arabic, okay. Now, no, this is wrong here. Translate to English, all right. Okay, I know why this thing is not working. Uh, I, you know, I, I keep choosing the language English and I get this. I don't know what even this is that, you know, what, what language is that? So I'm not sure why this is happening. Translate to English. Google is confused about the, uh, the language here. So look what you will do. I don't know if it works in your side. I don't know if it works with you. You can try it. Uh, maybe I have a, like a, a problem with my uh, browser, but look what we will do anyway. We will copy here this sentence and we will go to Google Translation. Google Translation. And I will copy in the front of your eyes. We go to Google Translation. Paste. Google translation doing the stupid thing again. Translating Arabic into, uh, see, it says Sindihi, detect this is Sindihi. Stupid Google. 
Do you see? Guys, do you see the translation? Go to Jesus. The translation here is, but be upon with you. This is the wrong translation. It says, go to Jesus. Alaikum bi Isa. For he is the Spirit of God and his word. Do you see it? And honest to my God. I am not allowed to swear, but God is my witness. This is what it says in the Hadith. ولكن عليكم بعيسى فإنه روح الله وكلمته. Go to Jesus, for He is the Word of God and He is His Spirit. Not a word from Him. He is the Word of God. Not a word from Him. He is the Spirit of God. Not a Spirit of Him. Or from Him. Do you see it? This is why I say. And some of you, like, you know, get upset, says, well, you know, uh, those who don't know Arabic, not only they do not know how to debate Muslims, well, they are short of knowledge because you don't know Arabic. Well, I try to force, uh, uh, you know, Google to change the language, but it's not happening. The detect language, when I click at the detect language, how you can change that? I choose another language. Page is not detected language. Okay, let's see now, maybe now. Let us see, I will try now. Okay. I choose to, uh, uh, I'm Harik. I, I, <laughs> horrible. This page is not I'm Harik. I choose Arabic, it's just, I don't know what's wrong with this Google. Let me try again. Now we choose Arabic again. Here we go. Finally, it worked. Finally, it worked. Okay. I chose the language. You see, change the. You know, I, uh, you know, it worked. So let us see. <laughs> but anyway, already we prove it. You know. <clears throat> Go to Isa, for he is the Spirit of God and his word. Do you see it? People, people, do you see it? Even Google translation is getting them busted. You see, this is in the same site. So why in Arabic it says something, in English it says something else? Why the Muslim they have false translation? Because they are following the devil. People who follow God, they will not lie about what their prophet saying. They will not add things. Your prophet, he says he is the spirit of God and his word. Put it as it is. And now you ask yourself, why they change it? Because they have to. Because this is an embarrassment. Jesus is the spirit of God and his word. And this is a title was given only to Jesus. Glory to his name. So is the Spirit of God was exist before the birth of Jesus Muslims? If Jesus is the Word of God, and Jesus is the Spirit of God, not the Spirit from God, we are showing you your stupid prophet speaking. He is the Word of God and he is the Spirit of God, not from God. Did your prophet make a mistake? Or maybe he's an idiot. So was the word of God exist before Mary? Absolutely. So when a Muslim he asked the question, your prophet, he got you busted. Now we continue and now we go to Allah. Who created Allah? See, I'm going to use the logic of the Muhammadan. If you are born of material, according to Muslims, that's you are not God. But Jesus is born of a flesh, but he exists before the flesh. The flesh is, you know, he, dis he humbled himself. The Bible says, for God, he humbled himself and he came in the flesh of a man. This is the humble of God. But how we can solve the problem? 
that Allah himself, he has body parts. This is how he is. He is from the beginning, according to Muslims, a shin, a leg, a hand, five fingers. He have a face. If Allah, he have a body part, you remember when David Wood, he asked Mimi Hijab, our sister Mimi Hijab, he said to her, uh, your God have body part, who said, who said so? You remember? Who said so? <laughs> uh, stranger, he said, Jesus is the word of Allah, just like Muhammad. Okay, show me reference that Muhammad is the word of Allah. Show me where Muhammad, he says, I am the word of Allah. Are you a fool or what? I just showed you that this is only a title was given to Jesus. There's no, you see, Muhammad, he gave names. Ibrahim, Khalilullah, the lover of Allah. Musa's Kalimullah, the one who speak to God. Jesus is Kalimatullah wa Ruhahu. He is the word of Allah and his spirit. Muhammad is what? The horny of Allah. <laughs> so when a Muslim he make a statement, he throw them in the bushes, we laugh at you. Show me reference, my friend. Show me where your prophet is the spirit of Allah. Show me where it says that your prophet is the word of Allah. And not only that, it says his word. It says his spirit, not a spirit made by him, as they try to say in the translation. Right? Now, who created the shin of Allah? Is Allah born of his shin? Is Allah came to existence after his shin or his shin became before him? You see, if Allah is God, why he is even a shin? Why he have a shin? If we ask a stranger here, stranger, how many fingers your God he have? Muslims, how many fingers Allah he has? Anyone can tell me? Who is a Muslim can tell me how many fingers Allah he has? You see, I will use your logic. Did Allah create his fingers? Or Allah is exist with five fingers already? Remember, five fingers on every hand. So you have ten fingers like us. And the funny, they say to us, nothing like Allah. Who is a Muslim when I tell me? You know, when the tit boy, Mimi Hijab, he said, uh, Allah had body part. <laughs> Who said so? <laughs> Who said so? Let us see and take a look what the Muslim Sunni, they believe. And remember, Mimi Hijab, she is, a, you know, she is a Sunni. Actually, his friend, Fifi, he have a video speaking about Allah. He have a hands. You can go watch it. And he was saying to the Sheikh, Ya yeah, Sheikh, if Allah, he said, he have hands. How we can deny that? Oh, you can. If you are Mimi Hijab, you can. And not a single Muslim said to him, what's wrong with you, man? All of us, we believe that Allah have body part. But because they are hypocrite, they want to win a debate, not the truth. They want to make a mockery of David Wood, but they don't want to tell the truth. So they think by making mockery, they want the debate until now, and for centuries to come, we are going to laugh at you. Because only fake people who don't believe in their God, they lie about their God teaching. If you lie even about the nature of your God, so what is left in your faith? Nothing. This is the Sheikh. This is not Mimi Hijab. He is teaching the Muslims and he have a station. He speaks from Saudi Arabia. Go, brother. Tell us about Allah. Allah described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed Iblis, Satan. And he told him, what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands 
So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. sujood. No CP, it doesn't say that CP. Allah don't have a body part CP. Allah don't have a lie number 50. CP says Allah have a leg. <laughs> Allah, you have what? Allah will lift up what? Say it again, please. Qalam, that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. I cannot stop my meditation time now. We have a God who have one leg. He's not a kangaroo. He's not a chicken. He is not a bird. His one leg of him was eaten by the shark in the beach. He's God. And this God have one leg. Question Muslims. Allah was a leg or he is born of that leg. As long the leg is a physical being and Allah have fingers, physical, you know, they are physics. Actually, do you remember yesterday or two days ago, we have a Muslim, he called me and he said, Allah, uh, his name is Abdul Wasiyah. Do you remember him? I will make a video about that topic. But just a reminder, I don't know which moment I can play the video again for you. We asked him, your name is Abdul Wasiyah. What does that mean? And I know what it means, but I wanted him to say. So I, I am the slave of the large. <laughs> I mean, even the names of God is weird. Their God is large. Like your God is what? He is the slave of the larger. I said larger from what? Is he larger from his chair or smaller from his chair? He said he is larger. Then I said, then how he can sit in his side of his chair? Then he said he is a smaller. <laughs> Go watch the video and laugh. <laughs> so Muslims, as long as Jesus, he can't be God because he's born of his mother. But we showed you that Jesus' existence have nothing to do with his mother, and he exists even before Abraham. Here we have a different problem. Allah, his existence was exist before his shin or after his shin. If he is exist with his shin together, explain. Who is the one who made the material of the shin of Allah? Did Allah create his shin or somebody else created his shin for him? Any Muslim can answer? You see, we are not asking about the chair of Allah, which is supposedly eight wheels or, you know, beast, they will carry it. Muslim, they say it's an angels, but they have four faces, each one of them. We are not talking about those. We are talking about Allah, he have a leg. And why Allah has a leg? Can Allah exist without his leg? All those questions Muslims don't dare to ask because they have no answer for it anyway. When Allah he says he have a leg, is that because he need his leg or it was extra part? Hmm? Why is Jesus could uh, called قول الحق a saying of the truth, not al uh, 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 Hold on, you see, you just you just get your prophet busted. This Abdul, I think, I don't know, are you working for me? Muslim, they will say, now I pay you. Trust me, they will say that. So a stranger, he said, why is Jesus called Qawl al-Haq? This is in the Quran. Qawl al-Haq. Jesus called Qawl al-Haq. If we go in the Quran, just to show you how, how silly, I mean, those Muslims, I don't know what they eat. I have no idea. I mean, you see, I now I understand the reason of diarrhea in this world. Honestly, read in the Quran and read in the statement of Muslims. Make you believe that diarrhea is coming only from Allah. 
Such was Jesus, the son of Mary. It is the statement of the truth, but it's not, it's not he is the statement. It is the statement about him. What it says there. So you stupid you, you call, you say Jesus is called al-Haq. Idiot. Potato. You don't even know how to read your Quran. This is not the name of Jesus. This is what the, this is saying, this is all of all what you taught to you is the truth, which means all the verses previously, what we said about Jesus is it true. The stupid you, you know, you remind me of Muhammad. He heard, he heard somebody saying that Abraham, he said to his father, Azar. So Muhammad, he thought that Azar is the name of the father of Abraham. But the statement was saying, Abraham, he said to his father, foolish. So the stupid Muhammad, he thought that the word foolish is the name of, the, of, of Abraham father. And all of us, we knew that the Bible have different name for Abraham father, how his name became Azar. This is what happened to you, an ignorant, following ignorant, blind leading and blind, we, eat, you know, we end with diarrhea. Don't, don't forget to wash. Uh, uh, and you remind me, the Muslims, they say that Allah have 99 names. One of them, the truth. One of them is what? The truth. Do you know that Muhammad, he was stealing the sentence of Jesus in John 14, 6, where Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. Do you know that? All of those description is description for God only. For life is only from God. Truth is only God. The way of salvation is only the way of God. And the Muslim, they say to you, where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. So the filthy Muhammad, he stole the names of Jesus and he gave them to his God, Allah. If you go to the names of Allah, 99 names, you will see the truth. al hay the resurrector, those belong to Jesus. Jesus said, I am the resurrection. So what is else? I mean, what is left? I am the truth. I am the way. I am the life, which means without him, nothing is created. You see, if a prophet, he come to me, he says, I am the truth. He is claiming to be God. If he say, I am the life, that's it. This guy, he is claiming for sure to be God. And then if he say, I am the resurrection, that's it. <laughs> and they say to you, where well, Jesus says, I am God. Worship me. This is confirm the thief Muhammad. He was a fraud, but a fool. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. In him who? Jesus said, I am the life. I am the light. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the resurrection. I am who I am. You know, there is a chapter in the Bible. Let me pour it out. Almost the whole chapter is about the fool. I'm sure many of you did not understand, didn't, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> And somehow, I feel like this chapter was written uh, for Muhammad, literally. <clears throat> uh, 
Hát ez szép, még lehet. Just for a laugh. So we can laugh at Muhammad. How the Bible speak about him? The man who claimed to be speaking of God, how he exposed himself. <clears throat> Proverbs 10 The Proverbs of Solomon A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivereth from death. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casteth away the substance of the wicked. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. He that gathereth in summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causeth shame. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Amen. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but a prating fool shall fall. He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverteth his ways shall be known. Absolutely. He that winketh with the eye causeth sorrow, but a prating fool shall fall. The mouth of a righteous man is a well of life, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Muhammad. Hatred stirreth up strifes, but love covereth all sins. Amen. In the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found. But a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. The rich man's wealth is his strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. The labor of the righteous tendeth to life. The fruit of the wicked to sin. He is in the way of life that keepeth instruction, but he that refuseth reproof erreth. He that hideth hatred with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. In the multitude of words there wanteth not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. The tongue of the just is as choice silver, the heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. It is as sport to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding hath wisdom. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, for the desire of the righteous shall be granted. As the whirlwind passeth, so is the wicked no more. But the righteous is an everlasting foundation. As vinegar to the teeth, and as smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to them that send him. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, for the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. The way of the Lord is strength of the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom, but the froward tongue shall be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked speaketh frowardness. I mean to that. Did you hear Muslims? The mouth of the just brings forth wisdom, but the forward tongue shall be cut out. Amazing. That what happened to Muhammad. We cut his tongue. When the Christian they came to debate him, do you know the Muslim they said the Christians? No, the Christian they debated Muhammad. Where's the debate? 
Oh no, no, he debate, he debate. Where's the debate? You Muslims, you write Muhammad touch his ass, you write Muhammad touch his ass. Muhammad touch his penis, you say Muhammad touch his penis. Muhammad he sneezes, you write it in the book, Muhammad he sneezes. The Prophet of Allah he fought, you write Muhammad fought. And the debate, you cannot write it? The Prophet he took a booger from the wall of the Kaaba, you write it down. The Prophet took a booger from the Kaaba. A dog entered the mosque and he pee. We write down the dog entered the mosque and he pee, and the Prophet did not clean after him. The Prophet he pray and uh, Aisha her legs is open. The Prophet he pray and Aisha is sleeping in front of him. The Prophet he sucked the tongue.